We know there are challenges in trying to obtain biopsies, especially when you've already been diagnosed and had treatment, and then the tumor stops uh, responding to the therapy that's given. We like to do repeat biopsies because we know that the tumor can change over time after being exposed to different types of therapies. That uh, can sometimes be challenging and add some risk to patients because it is an invasive procedure. Many times we use a needle that will go through the chest into the tumor to try and extract enough tissue to make these measurements. And so emerging technology that has really uh, been very popular the last few years has been trying to utilize your blood to measure these markers. You'll hear terminologies like circulating tumor cells or CTCs, uh, uh, circulating DNA, a lot of different things that are measuring, uh, trying to identify uh, things in your blood that may be representative of your tumor in your chest or your liver or where it may be. So one of the technologies is called circulating tumor cells. Uh, in this, you are actually trying to isolate these cancer cells in the blood. Uh, some of the technologies are cell search systems uh, in which you isolate what we call through a filter these tumor cells. Uh, that is uh, a bit challenging and has been inconsistent with some of the results. Uh, also circulating cell-free DNA is another technology. This again is trying to measure small pieces of DNA that are shed from the tumor. And it's a little easier to pick up that as opposed to actual whole cancer cells uh, in the bloodstream. There are some commercial tests out there. Garden 360 is one of them. That's based, again, on the technologies discussed in the NGS section that would be next-gen sequencing, and also uh, Oncobeam or uh, seismic agnostics. These are also uh, commercial tests, and I can tell you there are many more that are coming. Right now, I would not view them necessarily as your first choice over getting a tumor biopsy. However, a lot of the quality analytics that have been done have shown that they can measure uh, almost as accurately uh, in the bloodstream using these technologies as one would taking tumor tissue through a procedure using an interventional procedure like a bronchoscopy or interventional radiology.